What's going on everyone? So here's the deal. A couple days ago, I was able to complete 4,000% in Rage Zamorak and get myself the Gold Lord of Chaos title. Zami's a weird boss because in solo mode, if you want 4K, you have to incrementally push at 10% in Rage at a time for 400 kills to be able to attempt it. But in group mode, they specifically wanted the challenge to be the fight itself and not the grind to get there. And because of this, as soon as one group completed 4,000% in Rage and pushed to it, the floodgates absolutely open. In my opinion, if they're going to make it so that the only requirement to try 4K is to know someone else who has 4K, they should probably just unlock every single Enrage in group mode so you can choose whatever Enrage you want. But that's just my opinion, which doesn't mean a whole lot. Zamorak's a really fun boss, especially at this Enrage, because the auto attacks can hit 7,000 or more damage if you miss a prayer flick. So it's a real test of focus. You progress through the fight by charging up the edicts in whatever order you like. You charge them up by standing on them but every edict you charge up comes with a debuff that gets stronger and stronger as you progress through each phase. No matter how you do it, phases one and two are gonna be pretty chill, and by the end of phases five and six, things are gonna start to get pretty ridiculous as you have all these debuffs getting more and more powerful that mitigate your ability to take damage and heal. The other added spicy bit to the Zamorak fight is phase seven, because for that phase, whatever edict order you set for phases one through six gets reversed. What that means is whatever edict you charged up last at the end of phase six will be the most powerful at the start of phase seven. At the same time, whichever edict you charged during phase one will be the weakest. Because of this, you kind of have to make a decision at a certain point. And the decision is this. Do I want to have a really smooth phases one through six and an absolutely killer phase seven? Or do I want the opposite? Do I want to have an absolutely nasty phases five and six and a relatively easy phase seven? There isn't really an established meta for this just yet. I've done high enrage kills with both sets of orders, but for me, the jury's pretty much still out on what's easier. In this kill though, we elected an edict order of 246135, which should make phase seven pretty smooth at the cost of our sanity in phase six. The main debuffs you really wanna watch out for are Disintegrate, Affliction, and Smite, as they take away many of the tools that a high level PVMer would use to make a boss fight a piece of cake. With Disintegrate, each stack makes your defensive abilities less effective, meaning they allow a certain amount of damage to bleed through them. Once you've got a bunch of Disintegrate stacks, your defensives do pretty much nothing. Affliction, at the same time, reduces all forms of healing with each stack, and that includes things like Soul Split and Blood Spells. You'll notice once we get to Phase 6 that with high Affliction stacks, we don't even bother using Soul Split anymore, because the healing it's providing us is almost negligible. Smite is the third debuff that I wanted to highlight, as for each stack, an additional 5% of your HP becomes unusable, which means if you get knocked below that threshold for any length of time, instead of just being able to heal up, you get disintegrated, which is an instant kill. So throughout this 4,000% enrage boss fight, every single phase we progress, these debuffs get stronger and stronger and stronger, which as we've covered before, makes phases five and six absolutely miserable. Throughout all of this, the Zamrock boss has five main mechanics but the one that is by far the least fun is the red circle. If you stand in the black smoke, you take an absolute ton of damage and you get stunned. And it's pretty much random, so it's hard to predict if it's gonna turn around at the last second and land on you. But if you stand in the red area, which is everywhere else, you're just gonna continually take a ton of damage. Both options are pretty bad, but to make matters even worse, Zamorak can do his other special attacks concurrently with this, which means in the middle of red smoke, you can get any of the other mechanics at the same time. Because of this, for a singular 4,000% kill, we were playing it extremely safe here. You'll notice a lot of shield camping and defensive usage here, because as long as you can kill time and survive through it, you'll have an easier pathway further ahead to deal damage and phase the boss. With the boss fight more or less properly contextualized at this point, I thought we would slow things down from 2.5x and get a look and a listen in at the last part of phase six at 4,000% in rage. You're also gonna notice that up to this point, we've used pretty much no food, and all of that changes as soon as you get that final edict charged up. It's like a completely different boss fight. What the? Oh, that's gonna kill me eventually, dude. Yo, Somehow none of us signed. <laughs> dude, that was gonna kill me. Hello? Holy crap, guys. See, dude, we have food. Yeah, yeah, screw it. We have food. We have lots of food. Eating food. Oh, eating. Yeah. Eating the food. Sun. Don't suspect. Suspect. Probably don't suspect. Don't. 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 don't, don't, don't. Like, no. One fifty k damage each. Every phase. 150? What kind of math was that? It was 200 gauge, but by the time you <laughs> yeah. said it, you well, figured now, we were now doing, figured no, we were doing so much just... damage that, you know? Uh, you thought we were four men for a second. And... Guys, we don't have shards. Hello? Let's set some now. That's fine. Some That's just just uh, use the... Uh... What's the next special? Don't do that. Melee. Just don't use it. Oh, wow. 
wait. Do you need a sap? No, I'm good. Or my enhanced evil will just go off. That's too. on me. I'm a morning. Yeah, that. I'm I don't care. Just... Oh, I don't DPS. Just, let's go, just go in once. Yeah, just so relax. It's gonna hit eight. us hard though. So yeah, be careful. Fine. Like it could kill you. That's it. Yeah, we don't need sun. We don't need sun. Just don't sun, don't sun. We can don't go stun. outside and DPS. Okay, so we're going out? We're not even killing the demons then? No, yeah, we're just going out. No, just keep, keep going out. Okay, deeps. I Omnid, I probably shouldn't have. It might be okay. Now that we're through phase six, we're gonna be heading in to phase seven. And on P7, I encountered a problem that I was not expecting. For starters, I need to contextualize it a little bit. I'm gonna mention that I didn't really know about this because in all of the other group kills I'd done, I like to stand in the Southwest by the X but this was a new team and they'd asked me to take the B. You can't stand on top of each other because a lot of the damage you take is area of effect, so you kind of fan out with however many players you have. Once we've killed our three letters because you have to kill three in a trio, the bomb is 33,000 damage, which means in a few seconds after the melee hit, everyone on the team is gonna take a 33K. And because of this, you need to mitigate it with the mix of a power burst of vitality and defensive abilities, as one would probably expect. The ability you're supposed to use is debilitate, but the hitbox on the B is absolutely massive and in the wrong place. And because of this, when I went to click on the boss and use debilitate, I accidentally debilitated the B. <laughs> now, I noticed this as soon as I had done it, and I knew that this 33,000 damage hit was flying directly at my face. Debilitating the B isn't gonna reduce it by anything at all, so I had to act quickly. And the only thing I could think of to do to survive was to throw on my spirit shield and use reflect. So now, on the one part of the DPS phase of the boss, phase seven, where you're supposed to be outputting as much damage as you possibly can, I am shield camp Sally. I keep my shield on for the entire first set, and I did do as much damage as I possibly could, but it wasn't a whole lot. Now, that's a huge mistake, and it probably should have cost us the kill, but looking back at the footage, I'm not even mad. I mean, look at this hitbox. Definitely frustrating at the time, and I hope they fix it, because that hitbox has no business being that big, but it all worked out in the end, so I can't be too upset. Phase 7's kind of weird, because after the first set, the current strategy is just to let the bomb charge all the way up to 100,000. The goal is to get the HP low enough that you can blitz it all the way from whatever's remaining after the first set down to zero before there's too much damage taken. The other mistake that was made was throughout the fight, we were stacking storm shards. How they work is you can apply them to whatever your target is, and then you can shatter them later, and it'll take all of the damage from all the shards combined, and generally speaking, it will hit a 30k if you've got a bunch of shards. It's a really, really nice help for phase seven, as you can apply that damage on the earlier phases of the fight that are easier, and then use it when you need it most. Unfortunately, we had a slight miscommunication on the shatter, and in the first set, the two other people on the team each thought the other person was gonna be shattering. So at the end of set one, we've got 30,000 extra damage to do than we would have otherwise needed to. As soon as all of our strong abilities are off cooldown, we're gonna go into a burst rotation. What this looks like is you use Natural Instinct, you use the Fractured Staff of Armadale Special and Tsunami, and then everyone on the team is gonna cast Metamorphosis. As soon as the boss is attackable, we're just gonna start dumping as much damage as you possibly can. One member of the team is going to use Immortality and intercept everybody else. And this is simply to buy a little bit of time, because that first 100,000 bomb that's going to hit everybody, instead of wiping the entire team, is going to be tanked. It buys you about 4 or 5 seconds. So, with all that said, let's watch the final set and the conclusion of my 4,000% enraged group Zamorak kill. Meta. Meta now? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. box. Yeah, when do I tendril? Uh, now. Om Omni now. now. Come on. Come on, guys. You need to go. We got it. Yeah, we got it. Oh, I didn't have prayer oh, on. Three. Bro, I didn't have to try and prayer on. <laughs> oh, that's what he was telling me to give you. Oh, he my was... God. I hate it here. All right, we did it. Uh, that's what uh, uh, Dalton PM me, too. I thought he was talking about me, so I checked mine. And I, I forgot to tell you. I should have told you. No, that's totally my bad. Thank you guys so much for showing me that. I had a lot of fun. I really apologize for throwing so much, though. No, I, uh, had our fair, uh, fair we did sure not have those. a uh, a strong. Bro, if we failed that last that last phase, and I'd gone back to the vod and my tier nine nine prayer was on, I think I would have cried. I and then, you look at that hitbox! Look at that hitbox! Again? Look at this! 
I hated the polarization on B. <laughs> <laughs> Look, sometimes it doesn't go the way you draw it up in the playbook. I want to give a quick shout out to my teammates Ra and Depose for helping me get my 4k kill and I'm really excited to clean up my strategies and my rotations and work my way up towards 5k and 6k and beyond because I really enjoyed it. It was a fun boss fight and I feel like once mastered it's probably not that bad although this kill itself did take a couple hours of attempts. You guys know the drill if you want to leave a like and subscribe feel free to do so and I am super excited to solo push my way to 2k and 4k as well but I'm probably gonna wait for the death cost rework because I would like to accomplish that without going completely broke.